This problem is intended to guide you through transposing a standard minimization problem into a standard maximization problem we won't actually be solving. So the given minimization problem is called a primal problem and we'll be determining the corresponding maximization problem which is called the dual problem. Notice how we do have a standard minimization problem because all the variables are positive and all of the constraints were in the form of being greater than or equal to some non-negative value. So we'll be using these first two inequalities and the objective function to set up a, to set up a matrix without using slack variables. So we'll use the coefficients as the entries into our matrix. So using our first two inequalities, we can determine the first two rows of our matrix and then we'll use the objective function for the third row. Notice how, so looking at the first inequality, notice how the coefficients would be three. So looking at our first inequality, notice how the coefficients would be three, six, one, and four, which is the first row of our matrix. So we have three, six, one, four. For the second row, we'd have eight, one, four, and three. So eight, one, four, and three. Notice so far the first column represents the coefficients of x sub one. Notice the first column represents the coefficients of x sub one. The second column represents the coefficients of x sub two. And the third, the coefficients of x sub three. So because of this, for the objective function, we want to think of, the, we want the coefficients of the x terms first and then the coefficient of c. So the fourth, so the third row is going to be 80, 25, 70, and then one for the coefficient of c. So again we have 80, 25, 70, and one. The next step we want to transpose this matrix, which means we want, which means the rows will become the columns. So this first row will be the first column, the second row will be the second column, and the third row will be the third column. So the first, so the first column, so the first column will be three, six, one, four. The second column will be eight, one, four, three, and the third column will be eighty, 25, 70, and one. This transposed matrix is the matrix that we use to set up the dual problem or the corresponding maximization problem. So here's the same matrix and now we'll use this to set up our mat. So here's the same matrix. The first three rows will give us our objective function. The first three rows will give us our constraints the last row will give us our objective function. And notice how we're told to use the variables y sub one, y sub two, and so on. So looking at the first row, this indicates that our first constraint will be three times y sub one plus eight times y sub two must be less than or equal to 80. Notice how because we have a maximization problem, we're now using less than or equal to inequality symbols. The second row would give us the constraint six times y sub one plus one times y sub two, which is y sub two is less than or equal to 25. The third row would give us the constraint one times y sub one or y sub one plus four times y sub two must be less than or equal to 70. And now the last row gives us our objective function which would be four times y sub one plus three times y sub two equals let's say p or p equals four times y sub one plus three times y sub two. 
And we should also include the constraints that y sub one and y sub two are non-negative. So let's also say that y sub one is greater than or equal to zero and y sub two is also greater than or equal to zero. The next step would be to set up the initial tableau, but we're going to stop here. This is the dual problem. I hope you found this helpful.